Hey guys, it's Riding Mountain Gamer coming back at you with another episode of Farming Simulator and we're back on field 6 harvesting our last field of canola for this harvest this harvest on the Idaho USA map and we're pretty much right where we left off just a little bit further ahead got the, all three combines rolling they Case the John Deere and my good buddy the New Holland. So yeah. Ooh. I'm a little tired. I didn't get up till ten AM, but I didn't go to bed till three. So guess kind of there's the problem right there and so I, I was thinking we can probably take start taking a sprayer over there the cedar's probably far enough ahead now that we don't have to worry about them running into each other. Yep. Yeah. There goes the sign. That one you can drive through. Apparently. Gonna have to put some Voltaire and Ammon gel on right shortly here. My back starting to hurt. I don't exactly have the comfiest chair to record in. It's a wooden, I don't even know, it's just a wooden chair. I mean, it's got a back and arms to it, but. If this YouTube is ever kicks off for me, I'd like to get myself a nice little setup. A nice chair. It's really comfy. Makes me feel nice. Oh, I should make sure I'm recording. Frickin' rights I am. Whoops. don't want that glitch to happen again why is oh frick the glitches sometimes this is what happens when you don't pay attention on the farm Stuff doesn't go efficiently. And that's not good. Whoa. Whoops. Did not realize. No. I'm gonna have to go look at my other video, but if I was recording that loud the whole time, that thing is gonna be so loud. Damn it! You probably can't even hear my. You could probably can't even hear my voice for the whole beginning of this thing. Never mind the whole other video. Whoops. My bad. That was... Oh, I can't believe I did that. Oh, I'm paranoid.
Because uh, when we were driving by that combine, I thought to myself, wow, why is that so loud? Well, there's your answer. I had the volume at 52. Solid. Where's my good old pal, the TF? He just passed us, didn't he? Yes. Yes, yes he did. Why am I paranoid now? I want to go check the video out. Like frick. Frick bez. We'll take this good old trailer train and unload it at the silos. Even though the back trailer has next to nothing in it, but YOLO. YOLO swag is what I like to go by, if I'm quite honest. Like, wow, is this chair uncomfy? I'm trying to think what else I could use that we have. Like, this is just not ideal. There's a strong chance I'll be hitting the hay early tonight. By early, I mean 12.30. Probs get up in early, like 9, and hit the gym TMR. Gotta buy myself some more pro- Oh, I haven't done that. I gotta drink my protein shakes, my mass gainers. My weight gainers. And I gotta weigh myself tonight, see how much I gained in the past week. Hopefully a pound would be nice. I was 172 pounds, 6'2", 172 pounds last week. So I'm hoping for 173 pounds by the m today, hopefully. My goal for the end of summer was which is then this I got probably three and a half weeks left to train before hockey starts up. My goal was 180 pounds, but I'm going to take it down to 175 because, well, I started at 167, 168. Then when I first, and that was, what, what week am I on? I want to say I'm on week nine, week 10. So when I started, I was at 167, 168, and then I dropped to 163, 163, 164, after the first two, two weeks, two and a half weeks, 
just because I was burning fat, right? Because I hadn't worked out at all probably three weeks prior to that. And before that, even when I was working out, it wasn't as intense. So I dropped like three or four pounds in fat, and then I've been gaining mostly muscle since then. So yeah, I've gained right around 10 pounds, 8 to 10 pounds. It's hard to tell because just with using the home scale, it's not always the most exact. <sighs> hmm. Okay, we'll park the trailer train underneath the case here and then we'll head off and get that sprayer going. Get him doing what he does. What he does. Sorry. Actually, I'm just going to bring this whole laptop. Oh! That's way comfier. Why have I not done that before? I had I have like the desk in front of me and I had it on there and I was just kind of leaning on the desk on my knees sort of thing. But I just brought the laptop back and sat back, put the laptop on my knees and oh yeah, golden. Golden. Stay golden, pony boy. I'm going to be honest, I'm surprised how little subscriber success I've had from my social media accounts. Like on Instagram, I'm following, following 7,500 people and I have almost 4,800 followers. I get like, pr I probably average right around 350, 400 likes a photo. On Twitter, I'm following just under 5,000 people and I only have just over 750 followers so there's that but then on Pinterest I'm following <laughs> I'm following 21,000 people but I have 4,000 followers and then on Facebook I have 450-ish friends and all I've gotten out of that is, I mean not all, but I've gotten 71 subscribers. Probably where most of you that are watching right now have came from actually, so thank you for that. Thank you very much for that. It's nice to know that some of my hard work is going, is contributing to success. But actually something I've discovered is Facebook groups works well. I'm just working on right now how to how to upload to all of them at one time but I've done it once where I've uploaded to about only half of my groups and then it worked well so I'm doing this thing where I can upload to all of them at once I haven't got to work yet I've got to work kinda but not fully Frick, you should have seen this rock I destroyed with the mower. So I'm cutting hay, right? And it was... I'm using a Ford 8630 front wheel assist. Decent sized tractor. And uh... Macdon 5000 more conditioner. 
pull type. So I'm cutting away on this one field, just kind of got opened up. I was on the outside rounds. Started around 2, it was about 5 o'clock. I probably had broken three knives before that I had to change. One to guard. So I'm going along, and all of a sudden I just hear this big crash. I think I put a, I thought I put a rock through the thing. So I lift up, turn PTO off immediately, turn the mower off. I'm just like, adrenaline's pumping, I don't know what to do. So I just turn out, get the mower over a spot where there's no swath, turn the tractor off, lift the mower up, go out and check. Just dummy this rock. Destroy three guards, guards, destroy three knives. So I'm like, oh, frick, like, took me two hours to fix. Well, first of all, the bolts that hold the guards on that protect the knives would not come off. I had to go get, like, a, we call it a snipe. Some people call it a cheat bar. Just a longer bar that goes on the ratchet, and it, it's easier to loosen the bolt. So I had to go get that and use WD-40. Then I had to change all the knives, so that took forever. And then, the next day, was it the next day? Anyways, it was on the, f it was either the next day or the two days later. Same field. I'm cutting away. Broke a, no, I didn't even break a knife. One of the bolts, there's two bolts that hold the knife on to the cutting bar. And one of the bolts sheared and the knife swung around and got stuck inside the guard with another knife because they they shift back and forth through the middle of the guard so it, it literally took me so like I broke down around five it took me five hours to try and fix this stupid thing never got fixed till the next morning I had to I don't even know what I did. The guard wouldn't come off. Again, the bolts were tight. I had to use the cheat bar. But then the guard wouldn't come off because it was so tight with those two blades jammed in it. So then I figured, well, I'll just, I'll, I got the one, well, the one knife's already off because it, it just sheared off. I undid the other bolt fine. I figured, oh, I'll undo this other, the bolts on this other knife that's stuck and it should just lift off. No, no, it would not lift off. Screwed around with that. And finally my grandpa came in. He suggested just hammering it. So I tried hammering it. Wouldn't work. So I thought, oh, I'll take the, but it kind of worked, but not really. And I thought, oh, I'll take the chisel and just pound the crap out of it out. So that, whoops. So that worked. Got the knife out. But then, so then both knives were off and the guard, so I had to replace two new knives and a new guard. So I put the one new knife on, fine, but then the other new knife, the one bolt came out fine, but the other bolt had kind of, I had to file it down a bit to get the knife off in the first place. So it would, I had to put a new bolt in there. Well, the old bolt would not come out, like, just would not come out. Tried punching it out with the punch, filing it down. Just nothing. So the next morning, my dad had to come back with the screwdriver, screw the bolt halfway down, and then take the punch, and it came out finally. But, like, it's just stuff like that that makes a guy angry. I mean, I love farming, but stuff like that just is annoying. Like, I mean, some people want breakdowns and stuff in Farming Simulator 2015 games, or just a Farming Simulator games to make it more realistic, but it's such a pain in the butt. You don't want it. When you come to play this game, you want to play this, play this game farming perfectly. So, I'm glad they don't have the breakdowns on this, because probably would not be fun. We're gonna run into that stupid tree right away here. Now what side is the case? He should be on this side is boom. 
on the left side of the cannoli. There we go. Check up on our other, on our cedar and our sprayer. You're going. Maybe not as fast as I thought you would, but you're going. I don't know why they don't use the full length, these hired men. And you're going sprayer. You're actually probably going to catch up to the cedar. Right around in one of these things. Oh yeah, the new Hollandy. Ooh. Oh, I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna grab some grub right after I finish recording here. I'm trying to think of what I should have. There's hamburgers, there's pulled pork, there is. What did we eat last night? There's chicken for chicken wraps, and there's something else. What? Oh! Oh, yeah, I'm definitely having meatloaf. There's meatloaf. Meatloaf and turnip and potato and beans, I believe. I'm, I'm deaf's having that. Hold on, I feel like someone's here. Luckily, not luckily, but happily, just my imagination. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of hoping it was the girl I'm with, but no, no, it wasn't. Because she doesn't want to come to my house anymore for some odd reason. Wonder why that would be. I mean, you know, I always have to go see her, but it's, it's fine, really. It's, it's whatever. No, I'm just kidding. I don't care. Gotta build a bridge and get over it. That's what I like to say. I'm trying to figure out what my laptop's on right now. It doesn't want to sit flat. Oh. Found the culprit. The charging cord. Why are you not feeling why?
Alright, well, I was going to make this episode a little longer, but I honestly don't know. No, I don't know. I kind of want to go look at that last video I recorded, which is uploaded already at, by now. By the time this video is up, it'll be uploaded already. But I haven't uploaded that video yet, so I want to go see if I screwed up on my sound, which I probably did, but what are you going to do? So I'll go check that out, but I'll be back, and I'm thinking there's a lot left on this field, actually. So we'll come back for one more episode on this field, and then that will be it with these three combines. So I'll be back right away. I'll probably eat supper and then record that video. So thank you guys for watching. Please like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you guys later.